Hello everybody. Today I wanted to show you a little bit about Luminar AI's sky replacement technology and a few tips and tricks on how you can change the skies and use your own even. We'll be doing that right after this. All right, so thanks for sticking with me. As I said, today we're gonna to go through Luminar AI's sky replacement technology. So for those who aren't aware, uh, sky replacement basically looks at the photo and tries to mask where the sky is and allows you with one click to replace it with your own sky. So what I've done is I've gone into the edit tab of um, Luminar AI and now what I'm going to do is go into creative, which is this second little palette down below. So you've got essentials and then creative. And within this, you've got sky AI. So if you click on sky AI, you'll see there's a sky selection. If you click on that, you can then just replace the sky with whatever sky you want. Now, this is really useful. But what you'll notice is that there are certain skies within um, Sky AI that are really commonly used. So this sky here, for example, is one that's used very often. And because it's used so often by so many different people, it's a giveaway that the sky has been replaced. Now, that might be okay, um, but it really depends what you're looking for. So, you know, whilst there are a lot of different uh, sky replacements you can pick from within um, Sky AI, I think what the really useful thing is that you can also add your own skies. So, you know, it, I think it's a really useful tool to be able to add your own skies and then you know, use your own so that you've got your own photos that look like your own photos. They're not using a commonly used sky um, and, and so on. So, you know, in terms of getting your sky, you could either take it out of some of your own photos or you might even be able to have, do a quick Google search and find a lot of skies online. So, um, as I said, it's pretty easy to find them. Uh, but you tend to, if you use your own skies, at least it's going to be a little bit more consistent and unique. Whereas if you're using Google or, you know, publicly available, it might be a little bit more commonly used. Um, and you can also, so Luminar AI's Luminar X membership will give you access to some of these things as well. So before we get into how to replace the skies, what I want to do is jump across to um, my main monitor and I'm just going to pull up some guidelines for you. All right, so. All right, so this is the Luminar AI sky replacement guidelines and these are direct from the Luminar manual. Um, the really important things to note is that it needs to be 1200 pixels on the short edge. So generally speaking, if you've got a landscape photo, that's the vertical um, that it needs to be. It needs to be JPEG format. You should generally also keep it below 10 megabytes for optimal performance. So, you know, in terms of how to capture the skies, you know, you want to make sure that it's ideally... Uh, landscape that it's aligned with the horizon um, so that the bottom of it is horizon and the top is is the top um, the horizon should be a straight edge the sky should only contain the sky so if there's buildings and other things within it then I wouldn't use that um, and generally speaking it's better to shoot with a wide angle lens than a telephoto um, if your photo's got perspective, so, you know, there's clouds on the horizon, um, then that's great, but, you know, really it's going to be a little bit of trial and error as to what works for you. So things to avoid, as I said, um, avoid telephoto lenses, avoid irregular angles. If it doesn't have a, a horizon, 
um, that's a clear and level horizon is probably worth avoiding it. And if there's foreground, um, if there's no foreground and if there's objects within it, then that might be an issue. So, you know, this one here, because there's a foreground, you can't really use that. You would need to crop it off um, more so that it, it does have a better horizon. All right, so I'm going to jump back to the Luminar AI. And what we're now going to do is we're now going to have a look at changing the sky using your own. So Luminar AI have made this super easy. All you have to do is in Sky AI, you scroll up to the top and click on Show Custom Skies. Now what this is going to do is this is going to open up um, your file browser with the directory for the skies. So now that you've got your um, sky directory, what you want to do is you want to copy your specific skies that you want and drag them into this directory. Now you can have folders from what I understand within here and it will understand. So for example, we might want to go lightning skies. Um, we might want to go night. And by that, I mean Milky Way. And then I'll go another one, storms. So you can have folders within this and so the next thing you're going to have to do is it won't necessarily just show up or at least that's what I've found um, so what I generally do is I close um, Luminar AI and then I will open it again and so by closing and opening Luminar AI what this is doing so by closing and opening Luminar AI, that will prompt it to rescan that directory and then it should show up the other skies. So I've got my photo here. I'm going to go back to creative. I'm going to go into sky. And if I click the drop down sky, you can see my custom skies are there. Um, so let's say I want to use thunderstorm pick thunderstorm and there you go see it's replaced that immediately with a very different photo um, and a different sky now of course you're still gonna have to work on exposure and all of these things because you know this doesn't really look realistic given the light here and not over there and so on um, so it is gonna you are gonna have to work out what skies suit how to fix your lighting it does do some relighting, so, you know, it potentially does fix some of that for you, um, but you may need to do a little bit more. So what you can see is in one fairly quick and easy go, I've been able to replace um, the sky with my own, um, and that really makes the photo look a lot different, um, and it also means that the photo that I'm using I uh, won't necessarily look the same as everyone else's because I am using different skies. So that's one suggestion that I would have for everyone. If you do want to use sky replacement, definitely get used to it with the skies that are built in. But then I would suggest having a look for your own skies because doing that will give you a lot more um, flexibility and it'll also make the photos look like your own rather than with a consistent sky. So I hope this has been useful. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Any comments, please feel free to uh, put them in the comment section and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.
Find out what it means Always do it on my own So I gotta get through it And the only thing I know Is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all this art It's my only medicine, yeah Everything I do I'm just being genuine, yeah I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own adrenaline, yeah I do just what I do And I hope you let me in Let me in, yeah Thank you.